Hey, what's up, everybody? MLGC Esports here, coming at you with a weekly update. I'm going to be your host today, DJ MF Chambers, and I got two of the co founders of MLGC Esports. We're going to have Mensch and Falcon. What's up? Hey. I suppose we'll just get straight back, straight into it. I mean, we have big changes happening here on Rocket League. Um, I mean, we have the new edition of the MLGC GOATS team flying in. I could just coming out of nowhere. I mean, we just I just found them just scouting around for some players. And um, we found uh, three new players with the ne- by going by the names Denti, Lucid, and Matt, who most people would know in SCGL as Offset. Um, and then we also have a couple changes happening on the Tyrants team. I mean, we I decided to pull out, obviously, because I needed to focus more on management, which a lot of people have known that I was... Uh, playing in the MLGC teams but um, we decided to bring up someone from the Enigma team and his name is Brew Brian um, he's actually shown a lot of promise and we've been keeping an eye on him and uh, we decided to bring him up and try him out with one of the which let's say about an average of diamond and then we found also we scouted around for another player to join the Tyrants team and we found uh, a man named goes by the name one joker one um, he's a fantastic player and a solid Oak. I mean, he's um, he's level-headed on the field, and uh, he's just a great guy to play with, actually. So we have those three guys now practicing and getting ready for tournaments and stuff. Um, but at the moment, with the MLGC Enigma and Bambi's team, they're also going to be going through a few changes as well, as we now have brought Brew Brian up into the Tyrants team. So we're going to have to start scouting for his replacement in the Enigma team, but we'll keep everybody updated on that at a later stage. Um, but for this weekend, we have the Goats and the Tyrants team taking taking part in a Metal State Festive Countdown event for Rocket League, which has a prize pool of 1,500 Rand, which are actually very excited for them to take part in it. But they're going to have some really tough competition out there with the, by the likes of Pirates XD and INV, so we'll see how they do. Um, but recently last december i think it was correct uh no not last december jeepers last sunday they took part in a acgl triple threat um the goats team the tyrants team and the enigma team all participated and they actually played really well although uh, the tyrants came seventh overall um enigma came 10th overall and the goats team managed to pull a fourth place and that, that was the first tournament that they actually played in together so we're very excited for the future for um mlgc rocket league so mitch is now going to update us on cod mobile from the esports mlgc yes so interesting news from the um cod mobile team that we got um as you all know um the arctic trolls join us they are currently taking um on all the other clans in the the sa clan wars um and they do doing really great they're currently on third place um, so we are currently actually very excited about what they're going to do they are looking very great um, with the standings they are a big clan that joined us i think they were like 25 people that um that's currently in yeah, like if they I... yeah so they are they have like their own can i say can i say followers or kind of yeah but they all they have two main teams, um, and they are switching it around. Um, the one week, the m- main guys or while well, the higher guys are playing, and then the the other three is it in team four are playing. Yeah, sorry, sorry, four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then they are playing. So um, they're actually doing really good, and it's looking very promising on their side. We also have a birdie that flew over us and told us something interesting. That um, they might be hosting their own um, clan versus clan tournament. Um, And I think we can start saying that um, it might um, take place on the 19th of December. So you guys need to keep your eyes peeled open for all the advertisements and all those kind of stuff where you can enter. 
So we are very excited for that. We will host it on um, ESA, Electronic Sports Africa. We have a server there where we will host the tournament on there. So everyone can go register there. Yeah, that's about it. DJ decided to um, update all of us on Call of Duty for us. Uh, the Call Modern Duty. Warfare side. Yeah, Call mm. of Duty, Modern Warfare. We have also our own little squad on MLGC Esports. We currently got new members that are part of the family and we're welcoming to the MLGC Warzone. We're also representing, we'll be representing MLGC in Call of Duty Modern Warfare tournaments in the SA competitive scene. The teams consist of Frosty Warhog, Let's Go, O1, Moss Bro, and Bex. I think actually I know Moss Bro. Moss Bro was oh, yeah. a guy I met yeah, yeah, yeah. quite a quite a bit ago, and he definitely seems like a guy that could uh, that is interested in this game. He pretty stream he streams on Twitch right? That's yeah, right. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. does, and I'm pretty sure he streams um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare pretty much all he day, does. every day, whenever he gets he the doesn't... opportunity. He doesn't generally stream his um, tournament games though, purely because he needs to focus. But uh, you'll catch him online most of the time. I mean, he recently just finished one uh, like a twenty-four hour stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's insane. I don't know how people get that luck. I can like I need at least eight hours of sleep, and now this people come over and do a twenty-four hour stream. Like, what the hell are they thinking? <laughs> Damn. I mean, that's that's GG. They recently took part in a Predator Warzone event that uh, there was a showdown qualifier and finished third place in overall, securing 88 kills in the last match they played. Eight kills away from the world record for single kills in a match. That is insane. That, that is just, insane. That just goes to show that even though they got, like, oh wait, they brought out SA servers to Modern Warfare, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, there's that definitely is episode. crazy that they were able to do that. I don't know if they would be able to do that with 150 ping, but I'm definitely you be surprised. I'm definitely, I'm surprised, let alone on their kills. I mean, I'm, I'm happy I gave four kills a game. You know, these guys <laughs> well, dropping well, 88. I was talking to them um, quite recently, actually, and I asked them like, how did it go? And then Moss, um, he told me like, no, it started off a bit slow um, in the beginning. But then they managed to clutch an 88 kill game, which then put them into the third position. Damn. Oh, my word. That is still mm. GG's. Third position is not bad. Third position. Me personally, I would either be first or third. I don't want to be the first loser, but that's my <laughs> personal preference. That's how I see things. They will also be taking part looking. in a Predator, Predator Warzone showdown finals this Friday. We wish them all the best. Crazy. They're like they I bet you their wrists are hurting from all that aim training that they've been doing just to get ready for this event on Friday. I think they've been busy training at the moment. I'm not gonna lie to you. You think they're training yeah. right now? I wouldn't be surprised. Honestly, I would not be surprised if they've been if they've been training right now. It'd be kind of a good thing. I'm I'm definitely sure to see this fight go on, and I hope that they uh, bring that 88 kills more and uh, get that world record. Uh, it would be kind of cool. So. I mean, Hell I know yeah. they're taking, it's against streamers and uh, the other four teams that placed. So the, I think they take four teams from the qualifier and then they will play in like a kill race. I'm not too sure. We'll have to find out. Um, but there'll be the other four teams that placed um, and they're including them and then some streamers as well and their teams. So we'll Very... actually see it should be streamed. Nice. I really do hope so. There will be a great content to watch. And uh, definitely an interesting section to be a part of, especially on even MLGC Esports. Kind of sure. kind of crazy. All right, now we're going to have Falcon talk to us about League of Legends. Oh my gosh, you're a League of Legends. So, League of Legends, guys, it's been a, it's been a long week. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> we had about, we had three days of trials um, where we had about four matches per each day. Um, and these matches can like lasted probably easy 30 to 40 minutes each. So it, uh, I think the first day actually lasted probably a total of about 11, half past 11 when we ended. I mean, shame. But these guys, the, these, the people that signed up, I mean, they're fantastic. These guys, I've never oh, met, sure. um, a bunch of league players that are, that are like, so can c keep themselves calm and be supportive of the other players that actually, um, came to do trials. Um, so we're very happy with the players that we got. 
Um, we managed to um, create four teams. So we had enough players to have four teams for MLG that will be representing MLGC. I mean, we have Rusty that uh, he's managing the whole league league section. Um, I just um, oversee and give my advice where I can and all that kind of stuff. But he generally will just manage everything um, with regards to training towns and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm not going to make like have my plate too full because um, there's a lot going on for sure, um, for sure. but these so far the teams these players have been working really hard i see them even just jamming together casually or just sharing knowledge and stuff like that um but yeah but to announce the teams for league of legends we have um which would be going from top to bottom based on um what should we say skill criteria we yeah. have mlgc aspect um, then we have MLGC Illusion, we have MLGC um, Eternity, and then we have MLGC Spectrum. Um, yeah, we're very excited for these teams. I mean, we think they're going to actually do something really cool in the future to come. Um, but we do have some good coach, uh, a good coach to come and step in and teach them. Stuff like that. This coach is actually very uh, like a, a good friend of mine. I've known him for a while. So I know, and he's actually taught me a few things. So I know he'll do well for these teams as well. Um, but we're happy to have these players um, become a part of the MLGC family. I mean, they're busy. I know two or three of the teams are training right now. Um, they're getting ready for a clash tournament that's happening this weekend. But the, it's a normal clash tournament that's actually hosted by Riot, um, where they actually go head to head. But it's always on EU servers. We do, unfortunately we don't have South African servers for League of Legends. <laughs> Damn. it's yeah. tough out here bro it's tough but we do what we can with what we can right oh yeah i mean they i mean just to get i mean some of these players i think gold platinum to be able to get there was like 150 to 200 ping is insane it is I very mean, it takes it takes a little extra step for sure anyways um so nevertheless we're talking about um league of legends now we have the rival um moba shall we call him dota too we have some news on that as well which i know minch can give us info back he can update us on yeah for sure um so i'm assisting um ash who is the main manager over there ash is also um co-partner um so we actually had a friendly scrim against the nascals and the war dogs the Nascals showed their strengths and we tried to do a best of three, but unfortunately the Nascals said, no, we're only playing two games and they won both. But I spoke to the players of War Dogs after that um, and they said they are not worried at all. Um, they are uh, going to pick, re-pick their or rethink their drafts, and um, they said they now know how the um, the Nazgul players play, um, and they are hoping to go show them that um, they need to put their money where their mouth is. Um, the Nazguls then went on and had a, um, a friendly scrum um, against the team. Um, we have a player in our Discord um, named Kat Katzilla. He's part of a team devotion. Um, and they had a scrum against each other. So devotion showed Nazgul's that they might rethink their drafts. Um, we, um, I spoke to Nazgul's afterwards also, and they pointed out their own faults. And they said they are also very happy to... Um, re-scrum again they already arranged um to to do it they don't have a time yet to do it but they said they are very excited um so that's actually great and that's the thing again um like mlgc loves friendly players and we are blessed with so many friendly players um where we know dota and i don't know much about league but Dota has a lot of toxic players. And that's why I say we are blessed with so great guys um, that is just calm all the way. Um, we have the, oh, sorry, the War Dogs. They are also going to scrim against um, casual gaming, which is also bringing me to an interesting point. Um, the 
a leader there, well, leader, well, yeah, he messaged me asking that he is also interested in joining our organization. Um, so we had a meeting um, this past weekend and it was just announced now on Thursday that um, we are taking them in as a team and from now on they will be known as MLGC Discordium. So we are very excited um, for them to join us. Um, sorry, it's not Excordium, it's, it's, it's Exordium. Um, all of these interesting names, I love it. Interesting about that, it means the beginning or introductory part, especially. So that's actually an interesting thing, wow, they chose that, na that name. Um, so we're very excited, they are currently um, scrimming also against um, Golden Skulls. They are looking very promising. So I welcome them to the MLG family. I know they're going to enjoy it here. Um, they are going, they, uh, we had a meeting with them and they are also a bunch of amazing people. So we are very happy to have them here. And that's about that for now. Well, actually just, I forgot to mention, or well, we forgot yeah. to mention. The, so MLGC Exordium, which was also known as Casual Gaming before they joined us, yeah. um, they are actually taking part in the Legend what? Oh yeah, Legends League Finals. Legends League Sunday. Finals, yeah, on Sunday, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Actually, they they, they played very well there. Actually, ex excellent. Let me reuse my words. Um, the previous games they played. Let me just see. They played against two other teams and both times they played um it's all both times well the games is best of three um first game was against um sector seven team they got there to zero um then they went uh, to take on uh, nemesis also they got the two zero there and so the final on the 6th of december is against baliki gaming so we hope them all the best there. Um, hopefully, let's keep our fingers crossed that they will come up up there. That's going to be amazing. I, I mean, what a way to come join an organization while you're in the final of a, of a, of a tournament, a league. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, fighting to go into the grand final of Legacy. Yeah. It's not the loser's bracket, it's the winner's bracket. That's the winner's mean. bracket, yeah, yeah. So they are currently in the, the amateur bracket also, and so now they will be um, going upwards to the middle bracket, if if that's the term that they use, but oh, yeah. The, the league after, I, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, well, they call it the lower the lower bracket, and I thought um, in how they, yeah. I suppose it's equivalent of first division yeah. to premier division. Would it be intermediate yeah. bracket? Like a like, let's say you get your amateur, then you get first division, then you get premier division. Yeah. So they're going from amateur to pre to first division in a sense. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. You understand? Okay, cool. yeah, 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 I got you. That's quite interesting. And um, mm. with the Do this is with Dota two, right? That's right. Yeah. That is interesting. I don't really know anything about Dota two, so I can't really put my input on it. I know I did see uh, Minch stream. It on uh, his Twitch channel about when the Nazgals and uh, what was it, War Dogs fighting each War other. War Dogs, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was a very interesting. Ash seemed, Ash definitely seemed, does seem to know the, um, what he's talking about as he was able to comment on what items he was buying and uh, oh, what sure. what the dev, what the defense and what the, the buffs yeah. are of certain things. So it was very interesting to watch that from a, an experienced person's perspective. Yeah. What's great about Ash, and that's why I'm so happy to, like he is managing the Dota, is he does a lot of research um, in, he's not like me that just plays a game and, oh, I can buy this or I can buy that. He goes and <laughs> does research about it. And that's probably the way to go when you want to play Pro, eh? <laughs> that is definitely the way to uh, go. Yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. DJ is going to give us an update on Apex Legends at MLGC Esport. Um, we actually have a team um, that is flying MLGC's flag with um, two subs. But yeah, so DJ, definitely, go ahead. Definitely. <laughs> Our Apex Legends team, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is called MLGC Predators. I have seen yeah, some of the clips that they have been posting 
And uh, at the end of this video, guys, you will be more than welcome to be introduced with an, a little montage that I made for them from all the times that they did some very insane things. It was very intriguing to see that these people are South African and they're hitting some of the shots that they're hitting. It's a... Uh, I don't understand how they can hit it with that much ping on their side, especially due to the fact that we don't have South African s servers for uh, Apex Legends. It's definitely insane. It's funny to see them always pick up the wingman and all of them is always rushing to get that clip as a uh, majority of the clips always have a wingman. It's kind of funny. Very entertaining <laughs> from these individuals for sure. And they're going to be putting, they're definitely putting in some good hours, getting preparation for a tournament that they are ready to take part in two weeks. Um, it's going to be taking part on the 5th of December and we are very excited to see the outcome of these individuals as they definitely seem to be able to hold their own angle and uh, definitely able to hit them shots when needed. I just hope that they're, they're going to be concentrated, they're going to be ready when the day comes and they're going to hold MLGC to the highest point that they can. And hopefully... This is going to give them so much opportunity to see where their skill is. And I'm sure it's going to be up there in the top bracket for sure in this tournament that they're going to be taking part of. It's going to be hosted by NumThumb Esports. And the prize pool for that event is going to be 1,500 Rand on the lot to be taken. And I'm pretty sure MLGC Esports Predators of the Apex Legends is definitely going to take that home. And uh, hopefully they can buy them a nice little... I don't know what what predators would buy. What do you think predators would buy? I'm actually not too sure what predators would buy. I, mean, I was trying to what think. What context like, are we talking here? Yeah, I'm trying we're to talking think of gaming predators. related. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, why would you if you if you just won a tournament at Apex Legends that you just be training uh, for? What would be the maybe first we should thing? get merch? Merch? Yeah. Oh, and you that's want to plug something that's going to work. <laughs> you, want, you, you wanted to plug merch right there and then? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just assuming, you know. I mean, I'm a sucker for hoodies. <laughs> okay. All right. So you would buy merch. Interesting. I don't know. No, I wouldn't think... actually buy. I'll probably invest in something to improve myself. You think? I don't know. I might just get myself a pack of Dorito chips and Coke and just <laughs> sit on a bench and just enjoy the a moment. Beepy. A BP pie and Coke. That's, that's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? A chicken and mushroom BP pie and a Coke. And this Coke must be ice cold. And I just want to sit at the bench and just reminisce of the fact that I just won a, a, a freaking tournament hosted by another esports company. And we just won. I just won. So you would sit on a bench, right? Like, right? So I'm, yeah. let me just get this straight. You would sit on a bench after winning um a share of this 1500 prize pool right yeah okay you grafted hard for this uh -huh. you played this tournament stressed out right exactly not knowing if you're going to do well not if knowing if you're going to do well or not and yeah. um you go and spend it on on a on a bb buy and a coke well i mean you're gonna probably spend like 50 to 100 bucks right that's how much you're gonna spend on it. How and much is your bloody BP pie in a cook? It's <laughs> gonna be a hundred bucks. <laughs> I'm just trying to just like get it in between. You know, what I'm saying like that's how much. You know, you, you still have some chump change left over. Paid for money and all those kind of stuff. You know, I'm definitely gonna be sitting on a bench, looking at the sun, and eating my BP chicken <laughs> mushroom pie with a cold coke. Hundred oh, percent. I stressed out for the past two days so I can eat a BP pie in a cook. Yep. That's like, you just got to have that moment to realize that you've done it. Oh, maybe, maybe that's someone's cup of tea. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know, what you would And maybe invest. you want to buy a hoodie. Exactly. So I'm saying, like, this dude would rather buy a hoodie. Okay, I'll not say that. I'm just, I'm just dropping some hints here, okay? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I'll say the comments if we should maybe go on the line of merch. <laughs> Um. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely what do you what would you do Mensch if you acquired this share of this uh, you just won this tournament now keep in mind you you have just won a tournament where other people have tried their best and you beat them what would you get well that's easy I would um, you know go buy Mavericks 
<laughs> yeah. No, I would go. I would go buy flipping levels in 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 Apex because I will never ever get enough stuff or in, enough um, experience in there to go get another hero or legend or something like that. So that's. I oh, just sure. want to go. You know, brag about it. <laughs> this is not pay to win, Minch. Yeah. Well, actually, the Apex Winter Express event has actually been a lot of fun. Dude, I oh, yeah, enjoy yeah. it 1000%. The only problem I have with the event so far is the caustics. I definitely feel yeah. that the caustics need... Managed... You managed what? I managed to buy caustic today. Nice. I definitely... I don't feel like the caustic needs to be removed. Caustic is all good. I understand why it's in the game. But it definitely needs to reduce... They need to reduce the amount of, you know, heat of the, of the smokes. Good. Yeah, yeah this canisters, there's just too much canisters. He can smoke up. If he has his ult ready, he smokes down the middle, and then he gets the two canisters on the front side and the back side. The whole thing yeah. is smoked off, uh, and there's just there's people can't push. Can and it's the just, time it's is just very, too quick. You can't get on that train. Exactly. Yeah. There's just like nothing you can do, and it's very irritating. The damage is so high if you go inside there. It's just, it's just a very, it's not that it's like you can't go around it, you can go around it, you can try your best to do everything that you can to, to go after him, you know, concentrate on him, whatever the case may be. But definitely, if there was something that, that I would personally feel could be improved, is that. It, it just needs to nerf Caustic's ability, just a little bit. I think, I think DJ is just a bit butthurt. I am definitely sure. butthurt because that's, that is definitely I've lost almost five thousand rounds. That's the only reason he doesn't win. <sighs> I'd like to say that. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go with what he says. That's true. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but we also have some other interesting news. We have um, MLGC actually also has a sim racing team, uh, which at the moment consists of Inoxia. He's been playing um, a set of Corsa Competizone. I think I said that right. I think so, yeah. Uh, so, um, sorry, can someone, can I cut this quickly? I just yeah. got interrupted. Reload. Okay. So we also have some interesting news in a set of Corsa Competizone, because we actually have a team uh, an MLGC team in um, um, sim sim racing, um, which is also it's it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was, because um, I I had a I did a little bit of research, and I actually found a Discord community, and there is so many people, and it branches over not just a set of Corsa, but like oh, F1, really? all this kind of stuff. It's called Race Face at this moment in time, but um, there's other communities just like this Race Face community. Um, and they they host a bunch of different um, tournaments and stuff just for sim racing, a bunch of diff a bunch of different sim racing games. Um, so at the moment, um, our sim racing team only consists of Anoxia, and he's been doing very well. He seems to be very excited about this game, and he's putting the hours and grafting hard. I mean, he's busy trying to find out which car he actually enjoys more and wants to race with, so that we can then like get his own custom decal set up for him and all that kind of stuff. Um, but um, this Thursday is actually competing in a mini enduro race, um, which is also kind of like a little bit of preparation for his six hour race that is taking part in on the 6th of December, which is this Spa Franco ship champs. Fra? Spa Franco champs. Something like that. <laughs> Let me get that right. Let me get that right. Um, it's a tournament that is uh, being hosted on Metal State Gaming. Um, which is a website which actually has a bunch of different gaming tournaments and stuff on there. You should actually check it out. Um, Rogue Company's even on there. Hey, DJ. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, but yeah, we, we're very excited to see what he can do. Um, I do know that his actual league for Assetto Corsa in SA starts next year in January. So we're busy. he's busy prepping for that. Um, so we'll see how he does. I personally yeah. don't know how you could sit in your ass and stare at the screen, especially like a track for six hours, bro. I'm gonna be honest no, no, no. with you. I am lazy, and I'm not. He's gonna not lie. gonna be doing it. He's not gonna be doing it for six hours straight. He's in a team um, with another guy, um, which he got paired with. Um, he's going to be doing three hours, and then that guy's gonna be doing three hours. It's still three hours, bro. Staring <laughs> on a track, three hours. <laughs> 
I have to give props to him because the fact that he can find that enjoying and still pursue it to be good at it, that takes some next level dedication and grinding. I could never do that. The thing about that is I would enjoy racing, but to to drive around on the same track, like in a circle for three hours, like how even how, you, you'll get to a point where you you see you can you will remember everything that's you know on on the signage next to the track and so on so that's why i think it's it's like you guys said it's it's flipping amazing um then again, but yeah. yeah then again he's also going to be racing so his nerves will probably exactly, be on yeah. so that three hours is, yeah that three hours is definitely going to fly by with freaking crazy speed I just hope that this person that he gets paired with is equals to his skill, if not yeah. just a little bit better. I don't want him to be held back by something like that because it definitely does suck if uh, the, you're, you're the only person that you can rely on that's not as good as you or is a lot worse. It can be pretty well, frustrating. I can't elaborate, but uh, this um, tournament has also got monetary prizes, so it's intense. But there is different... Um, they have split it up into different um skill criteria so there's an amateur league and there's a pro league in that frank core champs um so he's going to be doing the amateur league at this moment in time obviously because he's just got into the game he's still learning the dynamics and all that stuff and um i, I haven't done some racing i've never played this game personally but i do know he even has his own like steering wheel yeah that he puts into his computer and stuff so it's very cool i mean he seems to be enjoying it i know there's Six, 69, <laughs> 69 teams that have actually um, signed up just for this tournament. Damn, for some reason. that is quite That's a lot. Insane. Yeah, and it all consists of two people each team. That is definitely that's like dude. That's over 120 people, individuals yeah. that are going to be competing in a six-hour tournament. That's insane. It's insane. That is definitely the dedication that these individuals have for a race card game. It's definitely way beyond something I will ever have. I would get bored. In my opinion, I would get bored. But, you know, everybody has their own different games. I mean, some people get bored of Rocket League and I play that nonstop. True. I mean, That's... I've grafted, what, 1,400, 1,200 hours? I'm not going to brag Talk about hours. Talk about hours, how many, like, even with the League of Legends and Dota, like, there's people in it with 11 thousand hours how the hell like that's like that's like three years or two years that you just sit on your ass and play a game that's <laughs> insane <laughs> it definitely does take some dedication but those yeah. are the people that's what you got to do to get out there in the top tier. exactly well you know when you enjoy something you actually start applying more of yourself towards it yeah that is true. You definitely do. Some, if you want to do it, some people do it just for the casual element or some will actually take it very seriously and research different topics on it and actually like put in the hours in theory as well as in practice. It's insane. Sure. I mean, let's use Asherite as an example. I mean, yeah. he's, he's done research on Dota as much. Like, I have no idea how much he's putting. I mean, but he knows so much about Dota. It's insane. 100%. For sure. That is, is quite crazy. But I mean, I'm pretty sure this is where we're going to sum it up. And uh, we're going to close this off here. We've given all the information that we can give off right now. Uh, appreciate Minch and Falcon for coming out here and giving us this updates as uh, the partners. The days could be pretty busy for sure. I just going to appreciate you guys coming out here and speaking to everybody. <clears throat> so this is where we're going to close it off. Thanks, uh, Minch and Falcon, for coming out here and uh, giving us their insight on what we have and all the events that have happened with MLGC Esports. I want to thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. Much love to you guys. If you guys feel that you're great at games and you want to join a, a esports organization, we're growing every day step by step a little bit bigger you're more than welcome to join if you feel that this you don't want to get into an esports you just want to learn a couple of tricks and uh, just get into a fun group definitely click in the link link in the description where you can join mlgc esports we're a fun community we're uh, our main goal is just to get everybody just a little bit better and for you to have fun we don't want we don't accept toxicity that's the number one rule out here. We don't like toxicity. And we were more than excited to accept you into this new team that we're growing. And hopefully we get to see you there. 
Um, that's all from my side. Much love to everybody. Um, I don't know if Falcon or Minch would like to put it, their inputs in here, but I hope for you, you guys have a great day. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Enjoy. Much love, everybody. Peace.